Alright, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation x to the power of x to the power of 6 is equal to 144. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the power of 6 on both sides. So I get x to the power of x to the power of 6 to the power of 6 is equal to 144 to the power of 6. Now from here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So basically, I can switch the places of these two exponents. So that's what I'm going to do with x to the power of 6 and 6. <coughs> so now I get x to the power of 6 to the power of x to the power of 6 is equal to 144 to the power of 6. And 144 is the same thing as 12 squared, so I get x to the power of 6 to the power of x to the power of 6 is equal to 12 squared to the power of 6. So now this turns into x to the power of 6 to the power of x to the power of 6 is equal to 12 to the power of 12. And if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a equals b. So in this case, x to the power of 6 is equal to 12, and if I take the 6 root on both sides, I get x is equal to the 6 root of 12, and this is positive or negative. Alright, so in this video, we're going to be solving the equation x to the power of x is equal to 8. So, at first glance, this problem may look challenging. So, to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the ln, or natural log, on both sides. So I get ln x to the power of x is equal to ln 8. And a helpful property that comes with logarithms is that if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can move this exponent to the front, so this turns into L b times ln a. So in this case, I have ln x to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So now I get x times ln x is equal to ln 8. Now from here, I'm going to use another formula that states that if I have something in the form w of a times e to the power of a, this is equal to a. And this is something known as the w Lambert formula. So if I take the w of something in the form a times e to the power of a, it's going to equal a. So... In this case, I'm going to rewrite this as ln x times e to the power of ln x is equal to ln 8, because x is the same thing as e to the power of ln x. So now I can use this formula. So I'm going to take the w on both sides. So I have w of ln x times e to the power of ln x is equal to what I have to do on one side, I have to do the other side, so I, w of ln 8, and this simply turns into e to the power of ln x is equal to, or sorry, ln x is equal to w of ln 8, and then now I'm going to take e to the power of both sides, so I get e to the power of ln x is equal to e to the power of w of ln 8, and e and ln cancel out, so I get x is equal to e to the power of w of ln 8. So this is my value of x. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to any of your friends and family members, and I have a lot of problems like these on my channel, so please make sure to go ahead and check them out. Thank you guys for watching.